All right, Madir, let's start off. Oh, no, I don't want to start with Madir. I feel like I need something to compare it to. Okay. Madir, so here's the deal with Madir. I think Madir is probably the best dragon fight in the series, but it's not my favorite. I don't know if I want to put S plus just because I'm not as big of a fan of the fight itself. If you know what I mean. Okay, I think S is reasonable. I do think it's probably objectively the best dragon fight they've ever done. But let me look at these because honestly, I don't remember all of them. I'm going to go S. Maybe I'll bump it to S plus. We'll see. But like ultimately, I think it's the best balanced. It's very, um, very cinematic. Which one is this? Is this the mini, the mini boss dragon from Kaled? If it's the one I'm thinking of, they all kind of have a unique little, uh, unique elements to them. And I think this one, maybe C? I don't like there being an E. I'm going to take off the E. Hold on. Get that out of here. We don't get E's in school. D? Okay, maybe I could go D. It might, no, I don't think the fight's that bad, though. Like, the raw is annoying. It's a reskin. I think D is fair, though. I think I'll save F for, like ancient wyvern perhaps i don't know yeah ancient wyvern's gonna get f i'm sorry i really wanted to put it like c or d but dude i don't think i'm mean, it's just not even a fight the run too is awful if they made the run up to him cooler or something like that like i, I don't get it it's just not it's not it yeah i'm gonna keep it there that kind of makes me sad though that really does it upsets me okay calamite Ooh. I'm gonna piss off the souls boomers. Um, <laughs> I think I can give Calamite a solid A. I think it is super overhyped though. I almost wanna put it B, but A I think is the best thing I could do. Calamite's definitely overhyped. Um, I think it's because people are blinded by nostalgia. That's fine, man, that's fine. But hey, Dark Souls 1 was not my first love, not my first. It, I mean, it was love at first sight, but it wasn't my first love. That was Dark Souls 3. Okay, Dragon God. Oh my lord, that's not even remote. I don't, I don't, there's nothing else. I'm not saying, Dragon God is the worst boss in the series. It's worse than Bed of Chaos. I don't care. It's the worst boss in the series. Because not only is it a pain in the ass, it's also just a terrible boss. Like, it's, it's not fun. It's kind of hard in the worst way possible. Bed of Chaos is not hard. At least your progress gets saved. But Dragon God? No. It's so bad. Okay, what is this? Is this the one from Demon Souls? I can't even read it. Oh, Blue Dragon. Because Demon Souls, where's the Red Dragon? Before I rank this, let me make sure I'm getting the correct. Oh, it's this one. Okay. So the Blue Dragon, if I'm not mistaken, is the one at the end of the game. Blue Dragon, yeah, it's pretty terrible. It's not really a fight. I'm going to probably go D. Maybe I want to bump this up to C because it's actually a real fight, but I think I'll go D for both. He just breathes fire and you wait and you run past. What? What? You want to shoot arrows at it? No. It's going to take you an hour and a half. Same with this, this one, honestly. I want to go F because I have, I have killed this thing so many times and it's just straight up shooting arrows and it's the most tedious thing ever i think that has to go f it's horrible horrendous i mean i don't know the blue is kind of the same thing though i feel like i need to be fair maybe give it a d compared to the other two an f okay you're right i think i mean i don't know honestly i think ancient wyvern is better than this maybe i do ancient wyvern here and then these two f or no no no, no. maybe this Madeir should be S plus. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna think about it. Ancient Wyvern. I don't know. I should have probably thought about how I was gonna. How I was gonna rank this. Yeah, these fights suck. Okay. What in the world is this one? Oh. Oh, Grail. Thank you. Okay. I think I'll go. I think I'll go C. I think this was like a pretty average mini boss. It wasn't anything super unique, but it wasn't anything like super crazy. Is Grail the one that? just sits there and you just attack it oh it's that one okay no we're not even gonna rank it then i'll just put it at the end because they didn't add na okay yeah we're not fighting that i thought you were talking about the one in um by the by the ball room the the ball rune farm you know what i'm talking about oh that's the free runes hey if it's free runes it should just be s plus but okay never mind 
Okay, Nameless King. Oh, interesting. I didn't even think about this. Okay, oh, ranking this as a dragon. Let's think. King of the Storm. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan, but I do think... I mean, it's pretty annoying. I feel like C or B. C or B. I feel like B, right? As a dragon... Because mm, I love Nameless King, but King of the Storm... B or A? B? Okay, all right. We'll, we'll chill at B. This is so nice having like a second a second opinion here. Cause sometimes I'll I'll do these tier lists and then I'll watch it back when I'm editing it and I'm like, dude, what were you talking about? Placid do sex. Let's see. This is tough, man. I think I think it's S. I think it's S and below Madeir. I think S is fair. I think Madeir is better. I might like Placid do sex. No, I don't actually like Placid do sex more. Okay, the design of this one is so sick, though. Like, I, the red lightning aesthetic was so cool. That was my probably Elden Ring's coolest just uh, overall. It was just so cool that Elden Ring did that. Um, I would go A, but I think it's well above Calamy. Yeah, yeah. I think overall it's a great fight. I think it's great. I think, you know what? Let's do this then. Let's do it. Sorry. Yeah, Madeir gets S+. Plus. After saying this, this makes way more sense. Magma worm that doesn't even count. All right, we'll we'll rank it. We'll rank it. I want to go C. Yeah, I'm going to go C actually because it's better than this piece of shit. It's better than this piece of shit and definitely better than those two. I feel like these two might go down to F, but Dragon God is just so bad I want it in its own category. You know what? I kind of wish I had E cuz I'd put them in E. Let's go F. I want to switch these. Uh which one's worse? Blue is worse. Okay. Yeah. Magma worm's not like a terrible fight, I don't think. Like, it's annoying, but I don't think the fight is really that bad. I think it's a pretty normal, pretty normal fight. Okay, Gaping Dragon. Oh, yo, this fight is slept on. I'm not saying it's, like, crazy good or anything, but this fight is, this fight's mad slept on. I think Gaping, I will go maybe here. I think I'll give it a solid B. I think Gaping Dragon, I said it. I said it in the last video. I said Gaping Dragon is the most underrated boss in Dark Souls 1. But I think it gets a B. I think just because it's easy doesn't mean it's bad. All right. Glintstone. Oh, I remember Adula. Let's go. Let's go. I No. C seems low. C seems, real, C seems really low. We think C? I'll go above. I'll go above Magma Worm. Okay, C. All right. We'll stick with that. All right, all right, we'll stick to it. I feel like this gets a B too. No, sorry. yeah, 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 I'm giving this a B. Low C? It's generic, but I'm gonna go low, or I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go low B. Actually, uh, compared to these two, maybe, maybe I go up here. Maybe I go up here. I think that's fair. Um, We'll see, we'll see. Guardian Dragon? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Guardian Dragon? Okay, is that really what it is? Wait, no, but Guardian Dragon's right here. It's not Guardian Dragon. Yeah. It's too small. Okay, I'll, I'll come back to it. Um, all right, I'll, I'll move on. Okay, this one... I think that I'm going to rank this one higher just because of the spectacle. Because this is the first one, right? This was, like, super dope at the beginning. I actually think it's a pretty fun and challenging one if you haven't really leveled up much. I mean, uh, are these all going to go C? That seems so boring. That seems so mean. Okay. Um, Magma Worm Dungeon. Bro, uh, get this out of here. D. I'm going to go high D. Top of D. Everyone give me a give me some credit here. I actually know what this one is. This is the one in uh, Mountain Tops of the Giants, correct? The snow one. It was hard. Um, I don't... I also think it's average, though. Should I just go average for all these? Like, wait, that was it. This one's going to be average, too. I think this is the best of them all, though. And I'm still not remembering what this is. Is this another worm? I don't want this. I'm not even ranking that shit. Okay, Fortisax. Now we're into the meat. The meat and potatoes. Fortisax is almost cooler than Placidusax. I don't think the fight is as good. I think it's going to go above Calamite, high A. S, I'm really tempted. I mean, it could go either here or here. But I feel like 
the fight itself goes a little bit below Placidu Sykes. Oh, this is Land Seeks. Okay, that's what I was thinking it was. Land Seeks was like disappointing Fortisax to me. Um, not really in terms of the fight as much because it was pretty similar, but I think it was less cool, less of a spectacle, and the arena kind of sucked. So I'm going to go with a high B. Over Nameless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for sure, actually. Um, yeah, high B, I think it's fair. Yeah, the arena sucks. It's like all these hills and uh, it's just too much. Okay, Seath. This is, this is interesting. Because I don't think this is bad, but I don't think it's great. Do I go? I think I want to go C. What are we thinking? What, how are we feeling about Seath here? B? B seems... Actually, that's not that's not a bad. A low how about a low B? How do we feel about that? Lower? Seath is okay. C gameplay wise, B lore wise. Yeah, sure. That's fair. Ancient dragon. This mm -hmm. I don't think I Crown him! Crown him! Thank you. Yeah. I don't think I can go. Maybe D though. Yeah, I'm going D. As after I made that whole thing. It's going to go bottom of D. It's definitely worse than the Ancient Wyvern, but it's not worse than the Red Dragon or any of the others. I didn't think it was as hard as everyone else made it seem. I don't think it was that hard, personally. But it was, it was hard. It was definitely hard. Um, it was more just like a pain in the ass for no reason. So, okay, Guardian Dragon. Now we're finally here. Everyone hates this. I don't think it's awful. I feel like... Mm, I was going to say C, but that I think I'd give it a high D. I think I'd give it the highest the highest of Ds. Maybe uh, maybe behind... No. Dude, the Magma Worm... This is the same thing. I'm going to put this here just because they're like essentially the same. I, this looks good to me. D. High D. Okay, Sin though? Come on. Give him his flowers right now. I'm going to go, ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Maybe there. Sin was not only really surprisingly good, the aesthetic was really cool. It was a good, eh, not really a good challenge, but it was, it was fun. Definitely best DS2 dragon. Okay, Divine Dragon is the most slept on dragon, I think. I mean, not take what I'm saying, not in the way of it being better than all of these, but aesthetic wise, it's the best gimmick. It's just insanely slept on. I want to either go top. I want to go here. I No, no, we're going to go here. We're going to go here. I think I'm going to go top of B because it's not really that. It's not like it's like that fun. I do really like dodging the wind attacks. Those are really cool. But I think, you know, the fight itself, you just you just swing around, you hit the lightning, you hit them with the lightning. I, yeah, we're feeling B. Okay, nice. Okay, Elder Dragon, bro. Oh, these are the ones I already did. Oh, wait, that's it, we're done. Okay, easy peasy.